It's good that they took this, uh, these, uh, posters down. Now I can get a better look at it. All right, now we got steel going up on the side of Tower 3. As well as the back, it looks like. Here's the back of Tower 2. We have two new cranes for the transportation hub here, but it's still underground. Uh, this side of the uh, those set of mechanical floors are still covered up by the mesh, but you can see some kind of claw over those floors, so this side is still getting worked on. Here's Tower 3 and Tower 4. When Tower 2 gets built, you won't be able to see One World Trade Center from here. Tower 2 will be in front of it. Yes, there's a lack of a tenant right now, but it's going to get built. All right, I'm now approaching Tower 3. I'm still not seeing anything coming out of the transportation hub, but I think I see some of the, uh, the wings that are being used in the design. Right there, those uh, white posts. You can see the guy welding one of them right now. I think that's part of the uh, external design to the transportation hub. But other than that, it's underground. Let's take a closer look at Tower 3. I have to try to not get hit by a car while I'm out here. Approaching the back of Tower 3. A lot of work has been done here. It's really impressive what they've done with Tower 3. Steel installation here done on the back of Tower 3, the back and the side. Uh, you can see some welders working up there right now, too. They're putting that steel together, building this tower. And right here, looking at the back of Tower 3, again, we have more work being done. You know what? It's just amazing. It's amazing how fast these things are coming up. The uh, concrete is stopped right now. Temporarily, though. This building will find a tenant along with Tower 2. So you can see right there, once they find it, they're going to reinstall the... Um, uh, I, I don't know what it's called. The, um, the concrete pouring machines and continue all the way up to 80 stories. Let's get a better look and let's just see what's going on here on the other side. Pretty sure there's more going on on the other side too. This is the back of Tower 3 right now. We got some work going on right here. We have some steel welding.
welding going on right here. I'm truly amazed at what's going on. Two months go by, you get this, even though it's just the base piece of Tower 3, it's part of the World Trade Center. There's one World Trade Center in the background. So I'm pretty sure Tower 3 will then move up also. Now, looking at Tower 4, we now have a full, almost full, row of glass around the back. Oh, you know, it's not completely wrapped around the base yet, but it's almost there. But again, it's more progress. So the glass cladding is now being fully wrapped around the back of the base for Tower 4. And this is the other side of Tower 3. Oh, I probably could have got a better look at that welding if I hadn't known that this gap was here. Doing some in there too. It's just amazing. It's really amazing. All the work getting done here. Looks like that'll be the start point for more steel columns. So this side of Tower 3 has been up for a while, but they're adding fireproofing work. These bags here, uh, cloth-like materials being used for fireproofing. It's completely wrapped around the front. And there they're doing more welding again. Tower 3 along with uh, One World Trade Center are my favorites. That's why I'm really focusing on it. All this progress really does mean something. All right, moving away from Tower 3. We can see more of the glass work done on Tower 4. Here, we got a better look at that cladding on the base of One World Trade Center. So, yeah, it looks like the regular glass has been temporarily stopped.
but only for the, the uh, set of mechanical floors being done there. Or as I said earlier, a special type of class will be added and when that's done, it will continue to the top of the tower. So once again, cladding on the base. 